Fine. The district's HIV AIDS rate is still at epidemic levels, but today's third annual report shows the number of new cases and deaths have declined in recent years. And it's no coincidence that as we double the number of people on our free H HIV retro antiretroviral drug program and while we improve testing, that the number of people dying from this disease is decreasing. Officials at the district's leading clinic for HIV AIDS told me today there is good news in today's report, but the Whitman Walker Clinic cautions there is plenty of bad news down the road as more testing data gets released. New HIV and AIDS cases are arriving at the Whitman Walker Clinic every day. Men having gay sex and sex with women at the same time. And women who didn't know that their men were on the down low. If there's any good news at the clinic today, it's that more people are getting tested. In the heterosexual community, it's predominantly African American. In the gay community, you'll see a mixture of the both Hispanic, uh, African American, and uh, Caucasian population. Okay. I think about the fear attached to it, and I think that's why most people don't really want to know. Tony has been living with HIV and AIDS for more than a decade. One of more than 16,000 D.C. residents infected. Now disabled by AIDS, he counsels new clients and tries to convince those not yet infected to use a condom. Why do people still engage in unprotected uh, sex? Because number one, it feels good. According to the information released today, roughly 5% of the city's population is HIV positive. But the Whitman Walker Clinic today prepared us for an even bigger number to come. They say when you look at men having sex with men, that number jumps to a staggering 15%. The message here is also anybody having regular sex should be tested every year. It comes down to behavior. So one once HIV is in your community, unless someone changes their behavior or we do something different medically, um, it's going to continue to spread the same way. According to the report released today, 1 in 21 African Americans in D.C. has HIV AIDS, 1 in 47 Hispanics are infected.